What is your ex's version of your breakup? After having a fight, she decided that we weren't going to make it and should break up. I can't even count the amount of times this would happen and how I'd have to fight to prove why we should stay together. After having a fight nowhere close to being a relationship ending issue. But this time I didn't push to solve the issue reconcile and neither did she. So, when she said we should break up, I agreed didn't even want to hear her story. I just couldn't feel safe in a relationship constantly on the brink of ending over overblown. Problems. I loved her. But that wasn't enough to stay. Basically, that I was an abuser. She even posted a photo on Instagram in a flight I bought for a trip I planned to recover our relationship after she ghosted me and cheated on me. Honestly, I don't know how many lies she said about me. I was destroyed, and all I wanted was to get back with her. Now I'm glad we decided to end our relationship for good. And one of the biggest reasons why the relation didn't recover was because she kept texting and calling the guy who she cheated on me dot dot. Till this day, my family doesn't know why we broke up, and only a couple of friends know the story. I wasn't any fun wouldn't stop putting the kids first, and was delusional. In order, I wasn't fun because I wouldn't get flat out drunk most nights of the week. Leaving our young children, including an infant, without an adult to watch them. Our kids have serious medical conditions, but the diagnoses weren't figured out yet. So it was a lot of care that others weren't willing to do. He was a grown man while they weren't, and he could have helped parented. As for delusional, I caught him doing something heinous and the best defense was to try to ruin my credibility. I created drama and bringing up problems and creating stress for him. Also doubtful he even told his fam and friends Earl, but he never told anyone online we're together never posted me on social media and refused to be. Friends w me on social media dot dot. Real story he cheated and abused me. He asked a second chance. I said cool, care earn it and I'd be comfortable if you did seize and get help for your abusive and anger issue. He said, every time I brought it up, you're just bringing up issues. Let go of the past, move on, and accept me for who I am. Piece of shit liar. Aviers were completely justified and rational, and converted basically into a hive mind with him with no real outside friends and above all, no private thoughts that he didn't get to examine with me. That really he pities me now. Even more so BC I still don't appreciate what we could have had together. That he caught me cheating with a neighbor using a drone. Reality I caught him cheating. Women confirmed. Also caught him wanting to come fuck that ass with some girl on Craigslist. I pulled all the finance from the house I was paying for us and his entire family. Even the heat in. The winder of Alaska and got a plane ticket out when he was out of town. The shit they can come up with when you don't live in the same state. He's that neighbor he speaks of was one of my best childhood friends who lived next door a year hey FTR. I left. He hated him. The law. Depends on who you ask. What I know. There are at least three narratives. One for the close girlfriends. One for the boss and colleagues. And a complete opposite of everything what she said to me. Could make a bigger clown out of me if I would ask her Anne. And she knows that her friendships. Colleagues. Family is well separated. So there is little chance she end up facing some awkward questions. So she tells what benefits her best in that atmosphere. Honestly, I have just one, and I don't fucking care who knows mine. It to get the girl an engagement ring, and then I had my sister harass him asking for my money back, and I told him if he didn't I was gonna call the cops for all the illegal shit him and his family did. Yes, I was crazy with a valid reason. He was an abusive narcissist. That I was a liar and I talked about myself too much. Truth was I never lied to her, but she had recently gone through some trauma in a divorce and she wasn't willing to trust anyone. Right, and put herself in my position and how she would feel if someone accused her of being dishonest. Constantly, and she would shut the conversation down and tell me not to shift the argument onto myself. We just weren't a match, but she really burned a bridge with me. 
I'm just guessing here BC I refuse to speak with him, but I'm sure he'll say that I was crazy for questioning his love for me. What really happened is I found out he lied about having a job and spent every penny he had to. We build the motor in his Supra which he blew while racing on the turnpike like in a shot. I asked him to explain why he lied about having a job and all he kept telling me is, I'm crazy about you and your girls. And when I told him I'm willing to hear him out if he tells me the full truth, he ghosted me. Oh, let's count them out of fun. Dot, dot, point one. He raped me, FYI. She's the one that dragged me into the woods, and when I said I wasn't ready for sex, she broke down and started crying. Two. You're just boring. So what? I prefer to spend my time reading, writing, and enjoying my hobbies. Three couldn't be reached for comment. She killed herself in prison after violently assaulting her abusive mother. Four. I still love him, she said. That about her abusive ex-husband who raped her while I was away in BMT. And then she cheated on me. It was probably something like, I was a good-for-nothing jealous control freak. He still lived with his parents, so she had to leave me dot dot. In my defense, I did live with my parents as the jobs I had did not pay even close to enough to live on my own, and she didn't want to move in together. She cheated on almost a dozen times, so of course I was naturally jealous and expected the worst whenever she went out. It was a super toxic relationship that went on longer than it should have, and I'm honestly glad she ended it. Things were going well, we've been dating for four months. We were about to have our first kiss, and all of a sudden, she decided to break up. She insisted that she was a lesbian. My ex did this too, and the one before that. This was the first girl I'd ever had a crush on, and of course she turned out to be gay too. I always do. I still feel terrible about it but I am gay and there's nothing he could do to change that. He's still my best friend and we're still close. But it kills me what I put him through. Her version is none at all. She just vaguely told people that things didn't work out between us. The real reason was that I discovered she'd been cheating on me with a co-worker so I left her. I actually ran into one of her best friends a few months later at the bar and she asked me what happened because my ex didn't really give her any details on the breakup. I just laughed and said that doesn't surprise me. If I'd done what she did I probably wouldn't want my friends to know either and left it at that. I'm a bitch who used drugs behind his back and I called him entitled. And I was faking three years of intractable vomiting episodes lasting up to two weeks. Here in reality I was diagnosed with kidney stones the night he decided not to take me to the hospital. I ended up calling an ambulance. He was stealing my prescription medications. And he wasn't doing any household chores. He threw away a bunch of my dishes, flatware glasses, and cookware because he didn't want to take a turn washing dishes. That it came out of the blue, and as we were in a dynamic I didn't give them enough time to prepare. I also didn't allow us to continue to wind the dynamic or the physical side of the relationship down. They expected me to kiss them as in full on kiss her one last time to let them have closure. It wasn't out of the blue from my side, but they were right it was sudden and jarring that I would accept, but I felt justified in sticking to my boundaries around how I would engage with my body. That I was an unreasonable asshole that didn't believe in true love because I wouldn't consider getting married without a prenup. We were only about a year into the relationship, and it wasn't really a prep meeting for us getting engaged. More of a here are our thoughts on marriage in general. She was convinced I was cold, heartless, only cared about money, thought she was a gold digger, etc. I thought she was unwilling to be swayed by my logic. We never got over that argument. They'll say that I didn't want to move halfway around the world for a maybe anyway and they understood. The one before would say I was only one for one to in the relationship and looking for a way out. And they would have been right. The one before that would say I was to enter the relationship and needed to back off, which scared them off. The one before that would say that they strung me along and in the end weren't actually interested. They just liked the attention I gave. That I got healthy didn't need him anymore and left him. Took him to his post-breakup to realize he gave up on us the second I got sick. And I fought. I tried again when I got better. Thinking we could get better if I was healthy. It didn't. I finally left. This was over a three years time period. He failed to see every time I asked to something small like having a sober date night couldn't. Drink while I was sick and he said no. 
he slowly pushed me out the door. Oh, I got a couple. Point one. You deserve love, and I'm not the one that can give that to you, so you should find that somewhere else too. You ditched me during the corona pandemic when I was infected, and you didn't take care of me, claiming you shouldn't have to risk infection just because I was. Point three. You are too needy but you chose to break up when I had a heartbreak in our polyamorous relationship with a different partner. Why didn't you think of my emotional state? In for my current husband's money. Yes, my husband makes better money than my ex, but we owe no way even middle class, and it's not hard to make more money than someone who works a Burger King. Then for a while he didn't care that we broke up because I treated him like crap. He went to work, came home, played video games, I did all the housework and charred hair, while going to college. It what his story is now, that I didn't like her friends and I am therefore complete assholes because who doesn't like her? Friends. While I definitely agree with the disliking friends part, her version lacks in detail. Ting them sway her opinions and choices regarding our relationship and also the fact that one of those friends was a guy who was deeply in love with her and attempted to sabotage our relationship. That I really didn't seem to care anymore and was no longer very affectionate, attentive. Totally true I was completely checked out but was to chicken shit to initiate a change. So she cheated and became the bad guy in the breakup story. I got what I wanted. She felt so guilty about the cheating that she didn't pursue what she was entitled to financially. Funny thing is, the cheating was still very painful. Emotions are a weird thing.